Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and today we are just going to do a very, very simple reading. We're going to be using Cabochons and the tree. This particular tree, we're going to call him the Time Tree. Today's theme is all about time and this crystal here that the tree is comprised of is actually black tourmaline. Black tourmaline is very grounding, very protective and helps you attune your frequencies by absorbing negativity. So in this case, I'm going to ask you to draw your attention to the numbers on the clock and feel out whether you want group one, two, or three. Okay, group one. So we're just going to start off by shaking the tree. Whatever lands face up, we will take that and also sort of just intuitively grab a few more cards. So think of your question and let's see what your message is. Mm, this guy's a little tougher, huh? <laughs> oh, none of them are landing upright for you. Okay, this one's okay. We have some. All right. So the first one here is time to change. And I do apologize. I used <laughs> the wrong color marker on these, but we're just going to make it work. Okay. Anyway, in case you can't see it, it does say time to change. And this says time to meditate. You got a few of them that are upright. Time to move. We'll talk about that. And time to grow. It's time to grow and change and move. So for some of you, that change does actually literally have to do with a physical move. Uh, but for others of you, it's just time to meditate and move the energy that is within you. Okay. And this is ultimately going to help you to grow and to get into this next phase of your life. But the thing, the message that's here is that if you don't reach out and uh, try, try to stretch beyond your boundaries, I guess is what I'm getting at here, to reach beyond your boundaries, to try something new, if you just stay in your same old routine, well, you're not expanding. There's, there's no challenge in that, right? So this is asking you to reach beyond yourself and see what else is out there. So let's move our little guy to the side. He fell over. Okay. Just be that way. <laughs> and we will get to the cabochons. We'll start with these. Oh, got a lot of them. Okay. Okay. Let's get the other cabochons. Let's see what the story is here. I'm going to start here. So we have Archangel Shamuel. Now, if you are going to change and grow, Archangel Shamuel is mostly known for the, being the Archangel of love. But this can also indicate reaching your fullest potential with some self-love. So this is that kind of feeling. Archangel Shamuel can help you believe in yourself, to see yourself in a whole new way. Okay, so in order... To get going in this direction, though, of your fullest potential, you have to be willing to move your energy and, you know, allow change to happen. That way you can grow. And you notice we had meditate in there as well. So it's time for that. And that will help open your consciousness. And here we go. Archangel Raphael. We're healing. We're getting in touch with our heart. We're getting in touch with our heart's desire. And then we have Sandalfin. Very nice. Archangel Sandalfin helps you balance your physical self with your spiritual self, but this is all about being in alignment and being grounded. So if you're going to live your fullest potential, Sandalfin can help you to make it a reality, to make it make sense in this human realm. Okay. And we did Raphael. How did that get turned over? 
<laughs> anyway, all right. And then of course we have Jophael. Jophael is all about opening your crown chakra and coming from a place of beauty and grace and wisdom with whatever you choose to do. Okay. Who's this? Oh, Gabriel. Gabriel comes up all the time. So nurturing, uh, giving birth to a new situation in your life, you know, um, healing the emotional body. There you go. Healing the heart, healing the emotional body, allowing your creativity to spark and grow. All right. Codes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so you are activating on a cellular level. And I just realized that this guy <laughs> had to move my light because time just keeps moving. Okay. And there was no room for it there, <laughs> but you are activating on a cellular level. And this is part of that major change. But again, if you just get stuck in your routine, not going to work. All right. That's not going to work for you. Ah, come on little guy. Come on. All right. So <laughs> we have heart. I love that. We were just saying, here we are, that Archangel Raphael, who's in charge of the heart chakra, you need to be coming from your actual wisdom truth, which has to do with the heart space, not the head. Okay, very important for you to remember that. Let's get the story here. We have instincts. What is this? Serenity. Love that. So this is kind of activating some codes of uh, knowingness. Okay, good instincts, the gut reaction, and also how to be happy, how to be serene and not let everything drag you down, right? And how to detox. This is part of the change. Getting rid of the old so that the new can come in. And you can manifest something new from the heart, all right? Not the brain. <laughs> you do from the brain, it's not going to work so well. Always manifest from the heart. The heart's not going to, wow. Okay, the heart is not <laughs> going to lead you astray. The heart is going to be pure and authentic. Expansion. So things from a spiritual perspective start to really grow and open and your whole perspective changes. So this really looks like all those things that you thought you wanted, it's changing now. You're expanding because you're seeing all of the potentials there. Now, this isn't about ego potentials like, oh, I could be anything I wanted in this world. If you're going to fulfill your fullest potential, it has to be from the expanded consciousness level, right? It's not about surface level things. And finally, <laughs> you're going to get yourself stuck if you don't listen do you like how I wrote that on there too? <laughs> Stuck. Uh, <laughs> if you don't detox and if you don't change, if you just stay in that routine, you're going to be stuck. You're not going to be able to uh, get to that potential and to bring in the good that life wants to offer you, what life is trying to show you. It's trying to show you all of the possibilities, but you need to open the door and let it in. Okay. Now, as we said, Gabriel... Actually, Gabriel can, in some ways, it's usually Archangel Ariel, but Gabriel in some ways, because at least the way I perceive him, he oversees the sacral chakra along with the throat chakra. And, you know, the sacral chakra is where we create from. So if you need some healing in that area, you can call upon Raphael, Gabriel. These are slippery, my goodness. So you can call upon Raphael, Gabriel to help you heal, get into your heart, get into that different perspective so that you can bring something true and authentic into your life. All right. So we're gonna leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye. Get group two. So let's get into what your messages are. We're gonna shake our black tourmaline tree. He's a little more stubborn than the other tree, but we're gonna give it a go here. So let me try go from the base this time. There you go. Anything that lands up is your message that landed down. Got two of them. All right. And we'll get more. Don't worry. And I also used a very light marker, which I did not mean to. I'm realizing now this is probably not going to show up very well on camera, but I'll read them to you. Don't worry. <laughs> so the first one is time to love. And then the second one is time to bloom. It is time to open your heart. And if you've been afraid 
to get back out there, if you've gone through a breakup, or if you're even with someone, you know, have you gotten so caught up in your routine? Have you got so caught up in trying to make your life perfect that you've forgotten to just be there with your partner? Whatever the case may be, you will bloom through love. You will bloom through love. Now, if you're single and you're saying, I'm not going for no stupid <laughs> relationship, what are you talking about? Well, this is time to love and appreciate yourself and what you have to offer the world. Now, I do want to take this one that came back here. Okay, so that was super hard to pick up with my nails. All right, but anyway, it's time to release, okay? Look at that story, if you can see it at all. Uh, that's the time to release, time to love, and time to bloom. So as I said, you're going to bloom through love, but only after you release, maybe it's an ex, maybe it's a belief system about yourself, maybe for some of you, it is having to release what other people have told you, right? So if you ever think about people who, let's go back to high school, ha ha ha, you were in on a Friday night and you didn't have a date you know, just something so seemingly silly and not important can really set you in a place of, oh, there must be something wrong with me because I'm not out on a Friday night. Okay. So look at stuff like that. You guys are in a good space. Give yourselves this chance to open your heart to, you know, to be grounded here. I even feel like the tree is showing you like, let your life bloom. Let your life branch out a little bit. This is what's going to lead you to your happiness. And most uh, likely this is how you're going to meet someone if you are single. Yes. By trying something new. Okay. So let me clear away the tree here. Okay. So let's get your cabochons going. Got a handful. Okay. Don't reveal the secret yet. <laughs> Don't reveal the story yet. We're not ready. Okay. Right there. <laughs> Do love that. The stars. But we'll talk about it. First, we have Archangel Jophael. See the beauty in yourself. That's what Archangel Jophael is all about. Through wisdom, the beauty of wisdom, the beauty of what, the, you know, what you have to offer, but the beauty of your perspective. That's really more specifically what I want to say. And then this one is Archangel Zadkiel. Wow. In order to grow and bloom and move on, you need to transmute. Yes. So this is that violet flame meditation, if ever you've heard of that. <laughs> so that's, why don't you try that? And if you don't know what it is, of course you can look it up. But Archangel Zadkiel can definitely help you transmute that energy. And believe in yourself. Gabriel comes up all the time. Gabriel's here 24-7. So here's Gabriel. Nurture yourself. Love yourself. Heal that emotional body. Heal the sacral chakra. Uh, Gabriel helps oversee intimacy. And, and your ability to emotionally open up to someone, okay? So if that needs to be healed, call upon Gabriel and ask for help. And of course, if we have the, I saw this before because it flipped over, <laughs> Archangel Shamiel, which is uh, the Archangel of love. But first and foremost, self-love. Now, some of you are out there, I feel you, and you're in maybe a marriage, and you're like, am I going to meet somebody new? You must not do this thing. I'm telling you, I've said it for so many years and everybody just kind of like, ah, whatever. Uh, you cannot jump from one relationship right into the next. See, a lot of times people will not leave a situation that they're no longer happy in simply because they don't have something else lined up because they're so terrified to be on their own. But if you go from one relationship to the next, it's going to be the exact same thing. And sometimes it's incredibly weird because in certain circumstances, the next person might look like the last person or have the same uh, habits or 
<laughs> like the same food, you know, that's because you're not, you haven't changed and decompressed from the last uh, situation. You haven't changed your energy. So you're going to just attract in the same old, same old, right? Let's take these both together. <laughs> Look at you guys. Look at you being all cute. Okay. We have abundance and love. Check that out. There's an abundance of love on offer for you. You have the Archangel of Love here. You have Zadkil who says, okay, love is on offer, but you have to transmute your energy, okay? So if you stay exactly how you are, for some of you that will work just fine because you're already there. <laughs> but for others, it's time to open up. Okay, yeah, look at that. We have calling, your calling. So actually, by following your calling, your heart's calling, you might find, some of you might actually find love through what you do. Sorry guys, I had to change the card and the camera here, but I was saying that some of you will meet someone through your calling, through what you do, and yet others of you end up just living so authentically that you're putting a different frequency out there and maybe you meet someone outside of what you do, okay? But definitely... There is this call to give your heart a chance, live authentically, do what you love, fall in love with yourself and with life first. Okay. So then we have grounded and peace. Be grounded. We had that black tourmaline tree. So be grounded in your peace. So what this is saying, you know, definitely there's a message here of don't overcorrect. Don't just like go running off the rails, <laughs> right? Make sure you're maintaining your peace. And this again, helps with your frequency. Okay. Uh, yeah, and grace. Live in a state of grace. I'm telling you, if you're just being authentic, you're not trying to prove anything. You're not trying to force something to happen. You're just in the flow of your life. That's where opportunities really open up for all of you. Okay, now let's get this other story here. No way. <laughs> you guys, it's grace again. Look at this. There's grace. Grace and grace. Wow. That If that isn't a message for you, I don't know what is. So really pay attention. Where do you start falling out of grace? Where do you start getting too competitive? Where do you start getting too much in your intellect? Where do you start putting more uh, emphasis on just making it and looking a certain way rather than living with this beautiful energy? All right, be more in the flow. That's amazing. Okay, and then we have the stars, <laughs> right? So the stars are aligning for you. Good things are to come. But remember, we can have all the energies swirling around us, but if we're not doing our part if we're not being active co-creators with the world you know then it doesn't come to fruition so be mindful of that and boundaries okay so you're learning to set those boundaries and the boundaries might be around expectations i'm going to be honest with you some of you out there really need to set boundaries with your family because <laughs> some of them are putting pressure on you to find a love partner to have this kind of career because that's what they have always done and you know their parents pressured them into this so you're going to get pressured too boundaries you can say no you don't have to give into that and traveler <laughs> this is a time themed reading so that's interesting i don't know if you're a time traveler if you are a comment down below okay <laughs> make sure you like and subscribe and share across all of the centuries as well thank you um <laughs> I, I just think it's kind of funny that this is time time traveler so do you feel like you're stretched beyond dimensions and stories and do you feel like you haven't really collected yourself you're not really uh at one remember in the state of grace and peace, you can find your calling. And I have to say, traveler, calling, we should probably put those next to one another. And then, this is the last one, it is we have turning. So you're at a turning point. Now, so many people always wait for externals to dictate how they live their lives. 
This is not recommended, okay? <laughs> this is not what you want to do. You are creating your own turning point. You are creating your own luck. And you are the one that when you are fully, fully, fully ready, you will open your heart. Love will flow. Opportunities will flow. And you'll feel at peace and in grace with your place in this world. All right? So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye. Okay, group three, let's shake the tree and see what lands face up for you. And then I will just sort of intuitively feel out. Now, this tree is stubborn, so I have to kind of <laughs> shake it from the bottom, shake it from the bottom. Okay, man, it has to be a good shake. Only two out of all the, really? <laughs> we'll take this one too. We'll say this is your message as well. And this one, and I really hate when they land on the board because my nails, I can't, y'all, can't with the nails. Really, I need like a tool. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> so we have time to refresh. And as I've told the other groups, I do apologize for using this color of a uh, marker. It looks pretty in person, but I don't think it's going to pick up very well on camera. But anyway, I'll read them to you so you know what they say. And I spent a lot of time cutting these, so I'm not going to rewrite them. <laughs> okay. I will just have to, from now on, just read them out to you. So time to refresh. You need a break right now. Time to see. You need this refresh to gain some perspective. And then we have time to change. I want to get another one for you. This one is calling me right here. So you have time to change. And this one was to say time for peace. Oops. Okay, one of them's down. <laughs> Let's get that here in a second. But it's time for peace. The other one said time to refresh, time to see, time to change, uh, time for peace. So make sure that you are not getting, mm, don't get crazy about what your perspective is. Okay. <laughs> it's self-sabotage because you are getting kind of set in your ways. And it's this sort of thing of like, I already did my hard life study. I've listened to what everyone has told me and I'm just going to stick with that and don't try to change my mind. Well, that's just going to make you blind to the things that are around you. And this could leave you wide open for people to take advantage of you. This can block opportunity. This can make it so that you lose connection with other people. All right. So for you guys, there is a need for groundedness, but it's time to give a rest honestly give a rest to your opinion right it's time to give it a rest because that is what you're hanging on to so strongly as a part of your identity and a lot of that doesn't even hold true for you anymore and you know it but you haven't moved on from it okay so let me clear away the tree here Okay, I'm literally working against the clock here. <laughs> it's still functioning. It's still moving. It's chasing me around the board. My poor light, I've had to move that. But I love it. I love it. I love the symbolism of uh, time is chasing me, right? <laughs> I think a lot of us might feel that way sometimes. All right, so let's get your cabochons here. Get my hand in there. Like, really get in there. Hmm. Not so many. Okay, that's all right. It's all good. Wow. You guys really didn't get that many. Okay. You know what that means to me? It means you already got the point. So good on you, all right? You didn't need much more explanation. You know exactly what we're talking about. Again, Archangel Sandalfin, grounded, balanced, letting some free flow happen in your life. You know, so for some of you, you're getting so caught up, maybe in creative projects. I'm guilty of this too. You get so wound up and caught up in uh, creative projects that your life starts to get out of balance. Or maybe you get so hung up on a justice issue that, you know, now, again, your loved ones aren't seeing you or, you know, when they do spend time with you, all you can do is talk about what you hate. And Sandalfin says, hey, why don't you come into peace? And I haven't mentioned this every time he's come up, but he's mostly known as the Archangel of Music. So sound frequency, sound healing, this sort of thing. 
would be very beneficial for a lot of you. Hmm. And Metatron, what is your Akashic record imprint? <laughs> what are you putting into the world? What are you putting into the book of life? But Archangel Metatron oversees, you know, sacred geometry. He oversees, um, you know, intuition, all of that. You know, I did a sacred geometry reading and I think Metatron came up and I don't think I mentioned the obvious is that <laughs> he's all about sacred geometry. So tune into, you know, what is your magnetic field? What is your electric pulse? What are you putting into the world? And what is your intuition truly telling you? All right. It's chasing me. It's chasing me. It's okay. I can just put it on the other side. <laughs> we'll work it out here. So look at that. So we can look at that as longing to release. Or time to release the longing. You, you chose this group because you've got the wrong idea about life. And I've got good news for you. It doesn't have to be the way you always thought. You don't have to push. It doesn't have to be hard. You don't have to prove yourself over and over and over and over and over again. You're free. You have the chance to be free. Are you going to take it? You have the chance to be balanced and grounded, or are you going to constantly going to constantly like throw yourself out there and throw the energy outside of you? Are you going to constantly stay with what you think is right and not be open to anything else? That's wasted energy. It's energy that just goes around and around and around and around and around in a circle and it doesn't proceed. It doesn't go forward. It doesn't share. It doesn't expand it doesn't grow why do that to yourself all right let's get this story detox you've got a lot of negative ideas perhaps about a situation in your life <laughs> you know um <laughs> you've got you know because so maybe this is like you've been through a tough time you've been through heartbreak but this and this story that comes up this reminds me of when people come to me and say I have this lawsuit. Am I going to win? You know, they're looking for fortune telling. That's the most disempowered thing that you could possibly ask someone. And it's also disempowering uh, for the approach to life. I know that we get into situations and yes, we want to know what's the outcome of this. When can I stop fighting this? But when, you know, and lawsuits are always filled with anger and what have you. But when you're getting merely caught up on that, when you have a chance to ask angels something and it has to do with uh, an earth level lawsuit again i know that that has to be an important part in some people's lives but this detox says let go of the negative stuff let go of all that negativity and improve your vision and honor your vision honor your vision it's time to do that all right so far you've been given a lot of messages but you're not trusting yourself you're not trusting yourself that that is what you're supposed to be doing or the approach that you can take or, you know, I know if you've ever had one of those dreams where you just feel that immense love and then you wake up, like maybe you have a dream where your angels come to you or your spirit guides do or someone who's on the other side who you love dearly comes to you and you feel that flood of warmth and peace and grace and beauty and all of that. And then you wake up and you go, well, back to life. And right in that moment, you shut out what was offered to you. And we think that it can only exist in the vision. It can only exist in the dream. When really it's an invitation for you to bring it into the third dimensional ego consciousness. For you to live in that frequency. Okay. Let's get this final one. Serenity. You're pushing too hard in your life. You need to reprioritize. And you need to make yourself and your spirit the priority. All right, that's going to lead to serenity. It's going to help you detox. And ultimately, it's going to help you to release. All right, so we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.